Hello JVs, this is an early preview of backup site .io. Ideally, the design looks a bit messy. There are a few details we are going to solve. And um, the goal is to allow anyone to have backups available for their site without any effort. So we have here on the dashboard our latest snapshots. We can see where, where they are stored. This is Dropbox, this is VTP the name of the backup configuration when it was created and I can download it, execute it, migrate it to a different server or delete it. These are my backup configurations and I have this one on VTP, this one on Dropbox and these two on Google Drive. I have also a quick setup option where I can create VTP connections, I can also create database connections, these are optional, we can detect CMS um, options and I can show you this also. We also have easy integrations with Amazon Web Servers. We have an easy way to go to the backup list and this is the backup list, configuration list. Now I'll just edit this one which is five bucks and I have a name for it. I can put any name. I can say when it happens. I usually I can set it to happen daily I can do it weekly when I want it and that happens now. I'll just leave it to when I run it. Now you can see that this is my FTP account and it detected my WordPress installation. I can normally select anything I want, any folders I want to back up or I can just click on this and it will just take my entire account including the WordPress database. It works for WordPress, Joomla and Drupal. And we're planning to add more options for frameworks and complex applications. We also have where we want this to go, where to store this backup. We have VTP connection, Amazon Web Services, Dropbox, and Google Drive. I'll just put it up on my Dropbox account usually, or I can just select Google Drive. And you can see then I can select the account. So you can have multiple accounts for Google Drive, Dropbox, Amazon Web Services, and VTP connections. And you can even navigate through the directories and you can see that it's a really easy process for anyone to understand. And you can go back to a different directory. We're probably going to add a back button so it's easier. You can choose the database connection. You can detect automatically based on CMS or you can select a database connection you've created in here. After you can save it and then you're back to the list. When you want a backup to happen, you just hit execute and then it's queued. You can see it here, one currently processing. This happens in less than five minutes. You should have the backup ready. We do this just to prevent the browser from loading and making an easier experience for the users. We also have a trash uh, for everything and that's kept for one week. We also allow to download the backups. You can just hit download and it's a secure connection. This one is a database only one. This one is, for example, five bucks and it includes the database and all the files from the WordPress installation. So it's pretty simple. We also have another cool feature that's currently in work. I'm going to show it to you. So this is the FTP navigation. Let me just go to five bucks. It's much easier to understand. It's much bigger. So you can see this is the FTP account. Uh, we automatically go to the public HTML account uh, folder just to make it easier for people to use it. We allow uploading files here just by dragging them and we allow downloading any files right away just using this button. And we also allow navigating directories in a much smoother way than it was normally possible before. So this feature is currently in work to upload and we're also going to add delete and even um, something that allows updating WordPress plugins in case people want to update it via FTP. They don't have to do that anymore. They can just, uh, have, they'll have a button in here if this is a WordPress installation and they just say uh, update plugin. They just put it in there and then it also backs up the old version in case there are problems and allows you to revert this. And this will be kept for just one hour in case you want to test it.
you know, just to check if everything is clear. If not, you can just revert the old version of the plugin with just one click. And this will be available for many other platforms also. <clears throat> Let me show you how uh, Amazon is configured. You have to put your name for this connection, access key, uh, access secret, packet name, and then the server where this is located. For Dropbox, we have a really easy way. You just hit new Dropbox connection and you get this confirmation message. Very simple. The same is for Google Drive. You just hit new Google Drive connection. And if you're already logged in, it will just refresh the existing connection. You can delete them and you can find them in the trash can after. And uh, you can just restore them if you want them back. So yeah, this is it. The backup is still currently executing, but it will happen. Um, one important detail, uh, for example, I delete this one, then it's in the trash bin. Only after the trash will be cleared, the zip file will be actually deleted. This is just to make sure you don't we don't delete it in case you want to restore it later. And uh, you can even migrate backups, let me show you. So you have the FTP five bucks point club you can migrate it to this account then you can select where to migrate it and uh, you can also migrate the database connection but you need the database created here so you can migrate the wordpress site really easily one other thing we're currently working on to make sure it's seamless and allows people to do crazy things we will allow migrating from a different domain to another one you know so this will be a complex feature that we're currently planning and it will be ready by the time of the launch. We're still taking care of a lot of details. And we also have the My Profile page where we'll be adding languages for um, different audiences. You know, maybe we'll add, uh, I don't know, Russian, uh, French, German, anything that um, the audience wants. We will translate it to them and allow anyone to use the application in their native language. So it's a really strong application. So thank you very much for watching this uh, example.